Hey everybody, this is Camzilla51 back with another Transformers video review. And today we have we are taking a look at the Reveal the Shield Deluxe Class Jazz, a figure that many people, including myself, have been waiting for for a really, really long time. Because for a lot of people, the uh, Deluxe Prowl did not really work so great as a uh, as an alternative, you know, to be uh, repainted and remolded into this guy. So, uh, he, he looks really, really good. I just gotta say, he's, he's fantastic. He's got the G1, uh, colors on the, um, hood there. And, uh, he's got, you know, uh, these, these paint decals on the side. And not decals, paint applications. Yeah, that's it. On the side. And number four on the side and on his hood. And, uh, you may notice that he's missing his Reveal the Shield symbol and that he has an Autobot symbol on his hood. That's because um, I had this left over from the uh, 25th anniversary uh, G1 reissue of uh, the G1 Optimus Prime. And he came with these stickers, but he had tampoed on the, uh, Autobot symbols on his shoulders anyway. So I was like, well, uh, shoot, I'll just save these. And this came to be one of the times to save it for and uh, I took off the rub sign uh, on the on the front you can just you know peel it off slowly and uh, it, it's nice and safe this, this doesn't feel like it'll come off so that's all good um, he's got this nice little red stripe and unfortunately the only thing he's really missing are tail lights back here um, a windshield uh, maybe a uh, a bumper, you know, an exhaust pipe. He's just missing a lot back here. But the uh, Repo Label set that I intend to get in the future sometime, uh, it fixes that. It, it totally makes this uh, rear section all better. And uh, another thing is this grill would look great to be painted in, and the uh, rims of this, uh, rim, rims of all the wheels, you know, that that's a kind of a shame that it's not uh that's not painted but um all in all it's just a really really nice version of jazz i'm really pleased with this guy and it's a lot better than the animated jazz that uh came out in 2008 or 2009 sometime like that um I i'm missing the exhaust the uh exhaust pipe ninja ninchucks i i lost them but there's just a quick comparison uh, for you, if you want, you know, of the uh, vehicle modes. I like this one better. It's more more G1. So, uh, one little cool thing that he comes with is if you open up his doors like this, you see these parts right here, and you can fold these out and forward, and then close the doors again. And you have his speakers like from the uh, G1 show and that's totally cool that that's a uh, fun little thing that I really wouldn't have been expecting from a jazz toy but there you go speakers and now he can you know disorient you know Decepticons with his you know sonic waves and play rock and music at the same time uh, you can the uh you know pose these all really if you, how you want to they're on these uh three millimeter clip systems so what's really awesome about this is that other figures you can trick out with these speakers <laughs> you know like you have a decepticon and you can either attach him with a gatling gun a machine gun or subwoofers <laughs> it's just amusing to me so um they they can just you know fold up and just store in this little space right here but uh what i prefer to just leave them off and uh save them for other other figures just because i i like kind of a more hollow interior and um you know i mean i i, I like them i re i really like them i mean it's just i don't want to have them there all the time like if i want if i want to put them on then those are an option for me um, so I'll just set those off to the side. We can use them later. And uh, to transform them, you want to open up these doors. 
like this. And next thing you want to do is kind of move these legs out. And just like the Human Alliance Jazz, these legs are really, really compact. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, open up the thighs like that. Then come under here and fold this center section down. And that kind of does at the same time. Why is this not working? Oh, uh, here, let me just fold out the feet first. That's just easy to do. But uh, at, at the same time that you fold this out, these uh, spring-loaded pieces kind of come out like that. And uh, that's really cool, you know, that they, they, they got the grills in there uh, from his G1 self. And um, it gives him, you know, the foot articulation as well. So uh, there are the feet and the legs. These are on uh, two joints, so you can kind of, you know, push them forward. And there you have the legs all completed. Moving on up here, uh, you want to fold out the arms forward like this. And then split these out to the side. Now, here's a cool thing, is that the uh, four symbol up there, that can just uh, split apart and uh, form the cavity where the head will go. Now what you just saw drop was the uh, gun that uh, it attaches right in there and uh, you can you know put it forward backward either way you want there are two holes in there so if you know you want to that's all good and cool um, then this little uh, automorph feature I guess you can uh, bring his head up just by pushing the chest down and then you know last you can just you know push this up on the back like that and then uh, you know just kinda get his shoulders in place and um, you know all that good stuff pose him up a little bit and there you have reveal the shield jazz in his robot mode and I I love this thing I've been waiting for you know a, a good jazz for a long time and it's good to finally get one you know, and especially looking as good as this. This is just really well done. I, I love finally having a Jazz, because he was one of my favorite characters in the G1 show. Scatman Crothers. I mean, you, you can't get much better than that, you know? So, uh, he uh, he's really well done, I think. Uh, he's got a ball-jointed head. Uh, you know, I can kind of tilt back and forth you know and uh it's good for you know talking and uh you know saying things that jazz would say like uh yo blue street come over here man you know or uh uh you know all, all kinds of fun stuff you know like the north side of cybertron was blacker than the inside of the drive shaft you know all, the, all that fun stuff i love jazz so um as for, you know, the rest of his articulation, he actually is a lot better in the shoulders than I thought they would. Because when I saw these wheels, I was like, uh-oh, he's not going to be able to move his arms up. But there you go. It's actually uh, pretty good there. Um, you can, he has two joints on his, on his uh, arms, so you can, you can get, like, really tight out of that. And something that wasn't really, you know, expected is a ball jointed wrist so he can you know up and down in and out swivel that's just awesome that he has ball jointed wrists you know and it's not even part of the transformation it's just there it's awesome um so there another thing is he's got uh you know side to side waist articulation again not part of the transformation but i'm glad to have it um you know he, he uh, has forward and back on the hips as well as in and out He's got a thigh swivel and a double jointed knee, so you can really get some good uh, poses out of that, you know, d uh, depending on uh, which, whichever joint you pose first. And um, also on the, uh, on the foot here, you can bring the foot back really far, and if you move this grill piece out of the way, you can, you know, go forward pretty far too. Um, though this, this little block kind of gets in the way sometimes. But, uh, overall, I mean, he's still pretty cool. Now, the thing that a lot of people have complained about, um, is that this, uh, this chest piece is all floppy. 
floppity 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 but uh what i did to uh make mine more stable is uh i put a little tiny bit of super glue um on uh, see the, the little uh silver groove right there put a little super glue in there and then took a hair dryer to it to make like a nice thin crust and film kind of thing and uh then it, it kind of locks in there a little bit better it's not perfect and you know it, it kind of wears down over time but it's a good it's a good solution I was gonna put magnets in there but I can't really find a, a solid place to put a magnet um, there, there's no real uh, good connection point I mean the plastic uh, just it's not molded that way I don't think but if you if somebody out there has done it please show me that'd be awesome so his accessories um, again are these uh, these two speakers and they can uh, go up here on his shoulders and he also comes with uh, this little gun which can uh, fold out into this long gun uh, which is really cool I like the way this this thing looks and uh, of course he can hold it and uh, that looks all good um, yeah, now I think I read up on Wikipedia this is supposed to be like uh, homaging his G1 pretender gun. Um, I guess he was a pretender at some point. But it, it's still fine to me. I mean, if you want to, you can paint it up silver. You know, it'd be all G1. But uh, it's fine. I, I don't really think it's too bad. So, um, he can't really wear it on his shoulder. Like, for... for um, you know, G1 fans who might want to, you know, say, you know, shoulder cannon, shoulder cannon. He can't really uh, put anything up there, unfortunately. Um, now, like the original toy, he has these uh, wings, you know, uh, made out of doors. You, you can't really hide them. They're, they're just kind of there. I mean, if you really, you know, like, try hard to, you know, like, get rid of it, you might, you might be able to get away with that. But, um... Yeah, I, I I really don't mind. I think it kind of looks cool, you know, like prowl prowls doors, you know, his door wings, you know, they're they're cool, they're characteristic. So, um, you can also store away this uh, gun. I just remember this. You can store away the gun up underneath uh, underneath his chest in robot mode as well, and it kind of fills out a little bit of that gap, um, as well as you know, it kind of looks like extra robot parts. But speaking of that gun, one th one cool thing that he can do with the speakers, which is why I took them off earlier, is uh, on the sides here, you can place uh, three millimeter clips for all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, you can uh, put this on here and tab it into place. And the same thing with the other side. Tab this into place. Do -do -do. And now he's got a super awesome mega gun. And uh, it's got like extra little firepower there for him, which is cool. But uh, I mean, still, I like to keep the gun, you know, just, just the way it is. Uh, I mean, to me, this isn't too necessary unless, you know, like it's a fun story plot that I might use. <laughs> Speaker gun! <laughs> then you got Decepticons flying away. <laughs> ah, that'd be funny. So, anyways, just take those off, toss them to the side. Now, um, he's not perfect. Granted, you know, I'll, I'll give him that. But uh, I mean, still, he's you know a. a old character that I've been waiting for for a really long time you know a jazz you know since G1 has you know always been one of my favorites he always had time to be cool no matter what he was doing you know I mean it, it didn't matter if he's in the middle of a war he's still cool you know like he, he just he's calm he's collected and he's got a certain amount of style style sorry excuse me um, you know it's just super, super cool here is next to the uh, animated jazz, and you can see there's a actually a dramatic difference in the white. Um, the 
animated jazz is kind of like a dull white, um, and and the uh, the reveal the shield jazz is um, a lot brighter, a cleaner white. You know where this is kind of an off white with little tiny hint of turquoise kind of mixed in. Um, it's hard to see, but you know when, when you put it up next to jazz, you can kind of uh, see it. But uh, anyway, there he is. I, I still, if you're looking for you know like a figure to represent your G1 jazz, this is the one to go for. Um, so there is the uh, G1 styled reveal the shield jazz. Just a whole bunch of unmitigated win. Thanks, Hasbro, for the jazz. That's so cool. Oh, ooh, ooh, I'm so glad I remembered this. Uh, one cool thing that uh, I want to show you guys is uh, if you, you know, transform his legs and, uh, you know, put his back section together of the car mode. Uh, normally, this uh, spoiler would be up to about here, but I uh, made it a lot lower, and it's it's more level. So what you guys can do if you want to do that is right in here, um, right in there, these these uh, plastic parts that are a part of this uh, part of the leg, and not not this upper piece of plastic. If you want to, you can kind of shave off this plastic just a little bit, and it makes the uh, spoiler not so up. It it comes down a little bit further. And it, it really pays off in the vehicle mode. So. Just wanted to let you guys know you can do that, and uh, I'm I'm certainly glad I did it. Um, so, if you guys want to get the uh, Repro Labels set, I I definitely recommend that because uh, I th I think I want to get it too. It fills in all that um, paint stuff and it gives them better uh, stripes. So there is finally getting over this time. There is. The Reveal the Shield Deluxe Class Jazz. This is Camzilla signing out. Have a good day.